this is Christina with Lemon Avenue and I just wanted to jump in really quick. I have a quick haul from the 99 cent store. I went for just to look for like confetti and cutouts and stuff for my embellishments for paper crafting. However, I found the tool that I was going to go to Hobby Lobby for. So I just wanted to jump in and share my finds from today. These are some mesh ribbon and they have a webbing detail to them. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so that you can see. So I'm not sure if you follow me here for paper crafting or if you're following me for my Dollar Tree DIYs, but I just wanted to show you why I was picking up this tool. I like to slip it into these embellishments um, that people use just for their paper crafts. Um, they're really cute just to receive and happy mail and stuff like that. So I want a tool to be slipping in between the cupcake liners, the cupcake liners that I use. And so I um, had found this. I was going to go to Hobby Lobby and instead I actually found this at the 99 cent store. So I just wanted to jump in and share with you why I picked these up. So they do come in three yards and they are six inches wide and I didn't want to open the um, glittered ones because I know those are going to be pretty messy but these are awesome and they're not glitter. They're a type of foil stamp on this tool and I just, like I said, I really liked those colors. So, so as a paper crafter, it's fun to use different things to gift and I really liked those little paper loaf um, candy holders and then this awesome confetti there was only two packets left but I was able to pick this up and then they had some of this ribbon and I really liked it because uh, I've seen this stuff at Hobby Lobby and it just costs more than a dollar so it was pretty neat I love the eyelash trim I love slipping that in between my liners and like as you can see the rosettes I kind of just bunch that up and then on the top you'll add some kind of embellishment, either a button or a character. I also picked up these stickers, they're rhinestone stickers, thought those would be fun. And then I did pick up this placemat as well. Now I really don't like the scary stuff, I don't like the spider and I don't like that stuff, but I really liked the boo. So I feel like I'm going to go ahead and use that just for all those boos you see around there. I'm going to go ahead and cut. I don't like the spider again, I'm just going to use the diamond webbing. And then I picked up some spider web in purple because I had added some gauze. That's what I like to work with as far as spider web, um, incorporating spider web to anything. I use gauze and I put that in between my rosettes. So the, some of the stuff that I'm showing you is a part of the giveaway and I'll show at the end what I'm giving away. Um, it's just fun to paper craft like that. Like I said, it's happy mail for people and I just absolutely enjoy it. I picked up these straws as well. I got the teal, the purple, the pink, and the black and white. I want to do the little straws that they're making as well, and I'll show you guys later what paper crafters do with those. So then for fall stuff, I did pick up this confetti. You can find this at Hobby Lobby for a little bit more than a dollar. So I went ahead and picked that up and then I picked up some table scatter. I really like the table scatter. I feel like you can definitely use it with many um, different projects for the fall. And I would, if I were using this, I would put it into one of my shadow boxes that I love creating. You could go ahead and throw a couple pieces in there and it would just look really, really nice. So I was completely inspired with all the pink this Halloween and it's such a fun trend. I love all the pastel colors. I was able to pick up a couple of paper pads from Michael's of the Pinkaboo series that they had, uh, the Pinkaboo collection. And I just, like I said, I absolutely fell in love with it. A lot of the, piece, the pieces that you see here are created with my Cameo or my Cricut. And these buttons were with my um, We Are Memory Keepers button maker. And basically the spiders and the bats that you see are just um, some table scatter that I picked up. 
but I see that you could use those on any type of project that you might be working on and um, you can reuse the bows and such so I'm so excited for whoever is going to receive this this will be my first paper crafting giveaway and these pieces here are unfinished but I can't wait to add to them <laughs> 